What's up, dogs? Word around the block is that the house down the road? It's for sale. It's like bonkers cheap, so we gotta go check it out. Also, something about it being haunted, so... Yeah, I'm sure it's no big deal. <laughs> Hello there. My name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for client neighborhood area. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be giving him that name, or what's up. Thank you for beginning a part of our Alpha testing team. We're excited about our partnerships with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest and cutting-edge real estate technology through nano drones, photogrammetry, and industry-leading machine learning. But what does that all mean? Well, client name, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home bio revolutionized for the 21st century, especially with what's going on out there if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home, even if you don't intend to sell yours. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. <laughs> you can imagine that a lot of the outside scans is actually just from Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over some basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long. Promise. This indicates what room you're currently in. Moving your cursor over the information bar will reveal additional options you can click on. Moving your cursor around the screen and example the highlighted areas will reveal different color icons. Clicking on them will turn left, turn right, move forward. Now, I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times. And remember, have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience. Because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. <laughs> Hopefully there's like a login thing in the very beginning. So that way, they could actually put that in instead of saying... Oh look, we got live chat, make offer. Oh wow, this is actually pretty neat. Not gonna lie, people are starting to think of really cool horror game ideas. Not that this thing is a horror game, but who knows? <laughs> Alright, so overall, this house looks really nice. Let's start front and front. What's the value of this house? Does, is this supposed to tell us the value of this house right in front? Here we go. The entry has a nice modern look with a spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Okay. I like that. How much monies? Ooh! Damn! This house is huge! And it only costs that much? That's actually not that bad. For three bathrooms, two and a, I mean two and a half bathrooms, three bedrooms, multi-levels. New suburban development features include an all brick fireplace. My god, this thing should be like 800k or something. Harbor floor, central air, nearby shopping attraction. Alright, what's the catch? What is the catch? You know what? Screw it. You already sold me. All I saw was the front of this place, that price value. I'm in. Can't afford it, but I am in. Ah, this must be the bathroom. Hello, guest bathroom. This guest bathroom has been recently updated with new fixtures and plumbing, so you can rest assured that your guests have the latest in modern convenience. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Blood pathogens. Ahem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Would you like to explain to me? Explain to me the blood, Mr. Virtual Man. I would like to live chat you. I would like to make an offer right now. 
Like, would it be a good offer to just put 10k less? <laughs> I don't know how to haggle for a house. Is that what uh, realtors are for? <laughs> to get you the best price, help you haggle? Or are they helping out the person selling it? I have no idea how it works. Oh, uh, look at this. This must be my garage. Well, I guess we don't want to take a step outside, but it's good to know that it comes with a free shovel. I always wanted a free shovel. Yeah. Wow, we got a giant garage that could fit two cars. Nice and empty. Comes with a free rake of a bloody saw. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's that's pleasant to know. Oh, 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 nope, nope. It was just a regular saw. Ha! I was playing a trick of me. Of course. <laughs> so, is this like real time with drones? Or do the drones just take a couple of pictures and then they're just like, Alright, I'm outy. Could a person just done that? No, it must be with real drones because we get to see ourselves actually walk into the place. So we're live with drones. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, we got a squatter! Worst fear of my life! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Oh. 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 For a second I thought it was a really nicely dressed squatter, but it was just a ghost. No big deal. Who knows? Maybe that's me. Maybe I'm being awkward. But I'm a drone. Let's not think about it. The dining room is the perfect entertainment space with clear sight lines into the backyard and living room as well as easy access to the kitchen. All right, well, is there enough space to put a TV? Uh, uh, okay, I, I guess there's that. So I guess that makes sense. Can I look down? I wanna see how much space we got on the table. Can we have board game nights? Come on, that's the important thing. What if we wanna play some hardcore Catan? Need to have a lot of space for every. God damn it! God damn it, drone! You little delinquent, you. <sighs> and my imagination is still over there. Is it floating? Yeah, sort of. Not really. Well, what can you tell me about this room? This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Ooh, where are we located? Are we in the northeast? Is this New England? That's where I live in. And wow, we're doing this at 8.05 a.m.? Damn, do people usually go to open houses this early in the day? That's crazy, and look at these beautiful free painting and a free plant. That's life. We got free life. Whoa. <laughs> this place is actually really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'd totally go for it if I had the monies. Can I just leave? <laughs> I like that there's no picture about the roads. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Well, if I'm gonna move somewhere, location, location, location. It's all about the location. It's everything convenient. Come on. Oh, come on. If it's not convenient, I bet I could haggle for that. Oh, no, no nothing about the stairs. Come on, virtual man. I really want to know about these stairs. Did you see that? The whiteboard. <laughs> we ain't going in there. Hell no. What is that? What is that? I seriously do not know. Is that like... A tail? Did someone pull a dog's tail off? Or a cat's tail off? Cause that's some thick hair, man. Some real thick hair. Marble counters and tilings add a sense of luxury that helps you to unwind and relax after a long day. Ooh, you sure, sure are so sure are sure about that. You, 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 you certainly are. Uh, uh, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good, man. Oh look, and you need to close this door. <laughs> So if I need a poop and peace while someone does other things, wow, wow, that's insane. My gosh, what a goddamn nice house this is. How lovely is that? Oh wait, I never talked about the bedroom. Well, one thing I ain't gonna keep is the bed. Oh, I don't want to live in someone's own bed. Sort of things that could have happened there. A massive walk-in <laughs> flame closet and ensuite bathroom. Make this 500 square foot master bedroom in your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. I love him. So where's my walk-in closet? Oh, right there. All right, Nita. 
I like it. Your scratches on the walls. <laughs> that's, that's that's like another minus 10k right there. <laughs> Probably cost only like a few hundred bucks to repair. 100k. Don't look at it. Let me look at what? This? This second floor bathroom is perfect for a smaller child or a home office for when you really need to get work done. The second floor, oh, bedroom. I was so confused. I was like, I don't know. I don't think people will pee in this area. It'd be pretty unsanitary. Kind of gross. But you're all right. Nice for a playroom. Bed could go here. Bed could go here. The very tiny twin size bed. Or you could shove it in the closet. I think this is more of an office space, really. <laughs> Try to sell it off as a child's bedroom. <laughs> Maybe for like a baby's crib at best, but I don't know about an actual living space. Very cramped. Kind of Harry Potter-esque. Just not underneath the stairs. Alright, what can you tell me about the laundry room? Why is it upstairs? The second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. Oh, you're so genius. You're right. Wow. Uh... Aren't you gonna talk about the squatter man? There's a squatter right here. There's a squatter right there. Oh wait, no, it's probably a ghost. Alright, no big deal. I can handle ghosts. <laughs> what are the ghosts gonna do? Move my stuff? <laughs> Play hide and seek all the time? Uh, hello? Heavy breathing? Please explain. Heavy breathing? Hey, I can't, I can't look at my information bar anymore. <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> Don't look at what? Don't look at what? I want to go in the bathroom. Oh, I want my virtual tour to continue. I got to learn about this bathroom, how nice it is. Tell me about the marble. It's excellent. Okay, well, uh, thank you, sir. No, no. I, I I don't need to learn more about this bathroom. It's cool. It's cool, man. <laughs> to current scan has encountered a memory error. Recompiling data from an earlier restore point. Uh, uh, an hour ago? The heck, dude? Explain. Explain. I ain't buying no house that's like this. Man, I didn't even get to check out the last bedroom. I wanted to know how nice it was. Alright, you know what? I can handle ghosts, but I don't know about being a murder house. That's that's a little bit something else. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just like people will be walking by and they're gonna be like oh yeah that that person was murdered there it sucked oh hello hello you were our, our ghostly squatter huh oh there's a demon you it's a demon gorilla that the demon what is going on he's gonna do a pop square scare thing I, I just know it hey what's up dude Use arrow keys to reposition. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> this is sick. Please rescan second floor. No, 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 no. There's definitely some Easter eggs here somewhere. I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. Why was there a demon? Why was there a demon? I can understand the creepy dude, the murderer, but a demon. Ah, oh, come on. I don't think I could buy a house with a demon in it. Or where a demon once lived. That's a different story. It could be possessed by some ghosts here and there, but demons, uh-uh. Ain't about that life. Oh, oh, I'm finally in this room. Oh, it's, it's a bedroom for kids. Bunk beds. Very nice. Alright, well, it was lovely. Good to know what it could have been, but it won't be. Should I have scanned that? 
No. Bathroom? Lovely bathroom still. Very nice and big, just a bit of blood on the wall. It's good to know th that you managed to clean up the situation and you're trying to sell it. 100k, I don't care if this thing used to cost 800k. 200k, yeah, let's do it. I'll hold it for about 10 to 20 years where people forget. And there's a couple of youngsters, especially college kids. We, we could sell this to college kids. It's inside. Oh, no. What's inside? What are you talking about? The demon? The demon's inside? Is it just in one of the closet? <laughs> the heck do demons do even? Just sit in your closet? It's gross. Disgusting. Rescan master bedroom? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Oh, what? Master bedroom is so weird looking. What's going on? Welcome home. What'd you do to master bedroom? Damn. The amount of designs that they did to change it up in an hour. That's insane. <laughs> uh, what? How is this doing a loop-de-loop? -loop? Oh, God. What are you? Flowers. What a red backdrop. Evil. I don't know about that. System play window dot wave. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> okay. Why was there window dot wave? To tell. To tell. Carrier one live feed. 7.51. Party PM. 3.28.2020. We're not even at that time. <laughs> what? Or is today the 28th? I don't even know. I don't even think today is the 28th. It's probably the 28th. <laughs> Yes, yeah, the 28th. Oh my god, that's crazy! Oh, this is my lifetime! No way! That's freaky! What's going on? What's going on? Ah! More evil flower silhouettes! With red backdrops! Oh my god! Oh my god! The screen's getting all noisy. Look at those white sprinkles. What's happening here? What do you want? What's going on? Will you be a demon around the corner? Or is this it? Am I just stuck here for all eternity? To die here? To go in the square? Should I try going backwards instead? Oh, did you expect this? I bet you didn't. I'm tricking you, demon. Demon? Joke's on you, demon. I go backwards. Oh! 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 <gasps> what if that guy's evil this whole time? He was the demon. He tricked all of us. Oh my god, and now our soul is being sucked down this hallway. <laughs> System locate player tag. What do you mean player tag? System spawn it character. Oh god, not the character from it. I ain't into clowns. Come on, man. Let's not do this. Me? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. Hello? Evil demon guy. The timer is going down. Timer is going down. Ooh, the timer's going down. Ah, uh, we're in trouble, aren't we? Oh god, the it clown's coming. Pennywise. Oh. Oh, gosh. Alright, well, we're flying away. That's what we're doing here. We ain't about this life. Wait, I, I could have sworn we already passed this 20 second mark. But I guess it's just in my head. Come on. Come on, drone. You gotta make it through. Make it through. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. My booty. My booty. Do I turn around? We got three seconds left. Ah, oh, man. Oh, 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 I went to negatives. System UI element missing. Ha! Trying to spawn a D. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 
This is live feed in Aragon? How's that happening again? Press tab to change cameras. Okay. I'll do that. Mr. Demon Man. I will press tab once I get to the end. Just in case it means a thing. Alright, let's do it. Ah! Oh god, the demon ate me. Disgusting. Ah! Uh, the house is a demonic force. <gasps> the house is alive this whole time. Why is my drone flying so slow now? Go faster. <laughs> What's happening? Ooh, look at that stairs. That I kind of missed one. Oh, no, it was an illusion. See that one, that one, that one. That was a weird step. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to the details. That's an important thing. You never know how it may all tie together for this demonic house. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, what? I never had a chance to. Oh, it's the same one in Alpha, live chat. I wanted to do live chat and be like, explain, explain everything, demon man. The open house corpse pile. And I think that's it. The images, various images from StockVote, StockVote.net <laughs> is the dude from StockVote. <laughs> all right, overall, this was pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. It's 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 like it's very simple. Uh, not like crazy, insane jump scares. But overall, you gotta admit, this is different. This is very different from all the horror games that we had. And that's what I enjoyed about it a lot. So, fantastic job, Course Bio. The It created with Adobe Fuse. Ah, oh, I, sh I didn't see the It! Alright, now. Oh, I hate it when games do that. That's just messed up. Ah! Spectacle soon. Oh my god, imagine if it actually calls me. <gasps> There's a dude that hanging himself. What? Congratulations, offer accepted. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now I have to see what the it looks like. Oh hey, now at least we could get details about the bathroom and other places that we missed out on. And then we completely redone the modern full bathroom. Means never having to fight over who gets to use the shower first. Awesome. You know, that is true. You know, how about that bedroom? Tell me about this bedroom. I want to know about this bedroom. Oh, damn, we got a free guitar? Hell yeah. <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> this end hall bedroom is large enough for two small children or that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. <laughs> ha, funny. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Where were you at? Where are you at? Oh. He was just a sound? God damn it. All this time. I guess the id character was just that demon thing. Yeah, that's it. Overall, really cool game. If you like it, hit that like button and we'll move on to the second one. So with no correlation to the first one, this one is called a sold house. Let's do it up. We could increase and decrease their speed. I guess we're just driving a car. Story, James and his wife bought a new house. Both of them were so happy by taking a new step for their family. After a few days, she realized that she had left something very important in her old house. Then she sent her husband there so that he would bring her back the valuable assets. Come on, honey, you couldn't have came with me. It's just the two of us. What you gonna do? Sit on the bed? Terrible. Ugh, this guy, wait a second. This is the same house! What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. I heard that a lot of Unity games use the same assets. I didn't actually know what it how true that was, but I didn't think that they would use the same <laughs> internal house. <laughs> oh my good. That's so funny. God damn. <laughs> I'll be get it. I'll get it before leaving. A note. You'll be getting a note before leaving. Is it that important? All right. Can I have a flashlight? Jesus. No wonder you guys move out. Lighting in here is depressing as heck. <laughs> Come on, man. It's called upping your lumens. My God, I can't believe it's the same house. 
Ugh, that kind of takes that kind of takes me away of from this. But it is what how it is. I mean, I, I can't complain too much. RPG Maker using the same assets, you know. For, it's called RTP. I don't know what they call it for Unity, but uh, in a sense, they got their own RTP. Dude, this house is bonkers bright. Are you kidding me? Is this where all you put all your nice light bulbs? Did you do this on purpose? You're like, damn, this house has nice lighting. We can't keep it here. So they just shove it all in this room. God, you guys are weird. Bonkers. I bet your neighbors are so glad to have you guys gone. They're like, dude, there's that weird house again with low lighting. Why do they do this to themselves? I don't know why they do this to themselves. They're strange. You're right. They're strange, man. You're strange. So glad they're gone. Just the other day, I saw them replace all their good lights with bad lights. Oh my god, they're so weird. I know, they're so weird. Why do they do such things? Where's the key? I want the key. Give me the key. <laughs> oh my god, can you just imagine that this is some parallel continuation of the previous game? In actuality, it's not the same developer, okay? So don't, don't, don't start wondering that. <laughs> but how can the story make sense? All right, so um, these people had their souls saved, something like that. Uh, saw the de a demon before the worst of things happened. They decided to move out. And they're like, God damn it, wifey poo forgot a thing. Now I gotta look for the dang key. Which I can't find. Should I be like turning off all the lights? Is that the answer? I don't suppose that's the key. No, it's not. I got a nice car though. I'm always one for the classics. <laughs> Just shove the key in, <laughs> in the trash. Oh man, this key ain't gonna be found anytime soon. Guess I'll turn off all the lights. At least pay respect to the old house uh and i don't know their electricity bill something like that i guess unless the key is actually up here somewhere and that'd be schnicky schnicky with lots of dark guy eh. <laughs> i don't know how this solves anything but it's interactable so it's gotta mean something right damn it the guitar has gone <laughs> I bet it was very valuable. Ah, oh, man. Did I turn off the lights there? No, I didn't. Boop. Much better. Darkness everywhere. Boop. Can't enter through there. But I can do boop. And I haven't gotten in here yet. But it's not accessible. Accessible. Hmm. I need a key, but key's nowhere to be found. Oh, god damn it. Open the god dang drawers. Alright, well, I got the key. It's time to check it out. What's in here? I'm not a really... Really well brit bright lit. Ah. Um, okay. Um, I'll get it next time. Your mom's wife's phone. Wait, what? Like she left it here? I'm confused. How is was it not in your pocket? Save electricity since it is already expensive in Pakistan. Oh, you just want me to turn everything off? God damn it. That's such a weird thing. <laughs> We're moving out. Who cares? It's not gonna be our problems. Oh my god. Damn. Pakistan has some nice homes, man. I can say that. He also got weird demons. <laughs> Last one. Objective updated. I need to go to the bathroom, make myself comfortable. Oh, I said you need a pope. Alright, you like to poop in darkness? Go ahead, man. Poop in darkness. <laughs>
<laughs> so I turn on the lights, but damn, it's too expensive. Oh my god. You're a weird fella. <laughs> what was that? I don't know where to come from. Want to tell me? Does it come from downstairs and just super, super bright rooms? I guess I am missing something. What is? Oh, come on! You're not updating my objectives. What if I? What if I was deaf? How would I play this game? Oh yeah, look, someone left a box. Ah, uh, delinquent. What the heck? I should get the paper and leave this place immediately. Oh my god, it's the it demon! It's the it demon! You killed the it demon! Damn, man, you're actually a hero! <laughs> so weird. Oh, hey. I am totally scared and confused right now. Did I get it? I can't tell. This light kind of sucks. Alright, before I leave... Eh. Oh, alright. Well, I'm gonna leave. What the heck? Ah, black darkness! This game is developed by Ahmad Raza. Thanks for playing. Um... Weird. Interesting. House that was sold. Makes no sense, but... Good job, though. <laughs> Since we're not really having any good luck with homes, I mean, we sold our soul to the first one. A demon came and got us for the second one. Yeah, you know what? They are distantly related. Wow, we try to move out of that house because we figured out that we sold our soul there, and then we get eaten by the demon. Or maybe it's like a demon's demon because we saw those red body parts kind of just all cut up and in chunks, so I guess someone killed a demon. But then that person that killed the demon, or whatever killed the demon, was really, really crazy and killed me. But now, I decided that, you know what, maybe living on the street is, is the place to be. So here we are, on the streets. God dang it, the car broke down. I'll walk. It's not far anymore. Oh. Dude, it's sprinting down. Down the street. Literally. This is it. This is the whole game. The terror of walking down the street. Ah! Boxes! Ah! This one has no bottom! Ah! Terrifying! <laughs> That's the worst thing that could happen. You hope to use a box, but then there's no bottom. Oh man, all that time and effort wasted. <laughs> That's gotta be the worst. Ah! Broken! Whatever you call those. Ah! <laughs> the dude just really, really, really likes wood. And cardboard boxes. Pallet. Actually, the pallet wasn't even broken. <laughs> had all the lines and it just had an extra piece just lying there. Oh no! Crates! I don't know what horror games this is. I used to work at a retail! <laughs> like a, a CVS or, or Walgreens. Market basket even. Uh, a grocery shop, I mean. What was that? Oh, there was something. <laughs> I'm trying to quit. I drove away. My car broke down. And the manager, he doesn't want me to leave. He's chasing after me. That must be the story here. Ah! And he's haunting me. <laughs> With store products. <laughs> Things from the store. Everything I hated. I was doing the can aisle forever. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My nightmares, it won't escape me. No! <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't want to lurk there anymore. I hear sounds. Oh no, he used to make me take out the trash. <laughs> Alright, what's going on, really? Oh my god, what is that thing? Uh oh. I don't know what was more freakier, the monster or your screaming. It's like who does who screams like that? <laughs> I 
I guess that's what happens if you your voice cracks pretty easily, huh? My voice cracks pretty easily. I wonder if I'll scream like that if I ever try screaming high pitch. I'll try it one day. <gasps> oh no, he's showing booty. Evil monster, how dare you knock down this trash can, you delinquent. I will call the cops on you. There will be no more trash you will be knocking down. Causing pollution on the streets. Litter everywhere. Oh no, he broke it. This one's legit broken this time. This is where I need to be. This is my house. Hello. That's a sign if any to go right on in. Oh, okay. I guess not. I guess that is a good sign to not go in. <laughs> I mean, a good thing that he doesn't go in. Rusty cars. Always very spoopy. <laughs> Damn, this street is long. You know, I didn't know what to expect. For a game called Down the Streets. But at the same time, kind of had a feeling. Oh god, it's too dark now. I don't know where I came from. Did I come from here? Now I don't know which way am I supposed to go. Oh, there's the house. So I guess I gotta go to that one. Oh, uh, you had to break. God damn it, Lampos. You're my guiding light to the very end. I need you. I need you in my life. Oh no. Cardboard boxes again. Leave me alone. Is it my manager? Is it the monster? Does he hate wood? Is this what's going on? Oh no, a dead guy. A dead guy that's buff and shirtless. Ah, oh, the horrors. Epilepsy. Leave me alone. I wonder what the real story is here. <laughs> it's just so weird. Why is there cardboard boxes everywhere? And broken pallets. Ah, no. No, that's too dark. Ah. Ah, I can't look at that. Disgusting. Ah. Disgusting sight. Ah. No, just a weird tree branch thing. What did that screeching car stopping noise? Was it me? Because I ran and then I decided to stop. God damn it. They really are haunting me. Haunting me, is it, aren't they? Ooh, finally. My destination. Finally, there's the city. <laughs> I gotta tell you something about the monster that lived in the store. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, ah, ah. God damn it, cheap jump scare. That was dumb. How did he do that? How did he do it? He like latched on to me and I was like, ah, and he kind of just moved along with it. It was weird. You know what? I think I had enough. The first one was great. These next two were just a little bit wonky, but hey, I hope you enjoyed these three short random horror games. If you did, hit that like button and feel free to comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it very much. Till then, let's